Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, May 9th, 2020, and it is 34 degrees outside. So I'm here by the fire because that's just too darn cold to be outside in May. So I have been thinking about mothers. Um, tomorrow is Mother's Day. And so naturally, I've been thinking about my mom and um, about the relationships um, that I have with various women of my family um, and the importance of those relationships. And um, I've also been thinking a little bit about Mary, um, Jesus's mom, and her cousin Elizabeth. And that encounter that we hear about in the scripture when both of them are pregnant uh, and pregnant in extraordinary means and they come together and Elizabeth's baby leaps in her womb and Elizabeth looks at Mary and proclaims what the angel has said, but in a way that Mary can hear of the greatness that God has bestowed upon her and how that opens Mary up to being able to see what God is doing in her life. Um, and she sings this song that we still sing to this day. Um, we call it the Magnificat, um, but a way of understanding God in the midst of all times. And so that got me thinking about a story I just heard um, from my mom not too long ago. And um, if I ever wrote a book, this chapter would be called Aunt Dottie Comes to the Rescue. So my great Aunt Dottie was my mom's mom's sister, and she lived in Massachusetts. Uh, my mom and her family lived in California. My grandmother had moved out to California early on. Um, but my aunt Sally, my mom's sister, was getting married. And uh, so Aunt Dottie came to California with her husband, and I'm assuming her kids, but I don't know. Um, and I was about six weeks old, and there's this beautiful entry in my baby book about me at my aunt's wedding and how, how beautifully behaved I was, the green dress I was wearing, um, all of those things. And I've never really thought much about that entry and how important it was to, for her to make that comment, for my mom to write that down, until I found out. Um, that my difficulties as a child did not begin in my preteen years, but in fact, from the moment I exited the womb. Um, I was a very colicky child. Um, I was my parents' first child. It was 1971. Uh, and um, so my mom was just trying everything she could think of um, to get me to not cry. And then Aunt Dottie came to town. And Aunt Dottie looked at my mom and said, you need to give that child a pacifier. And my mom was horrified because you didn't give children pacifiers in 1971. That wasn't the way. And my Aunt Dottie looked at her and said, Susan, give that child a pacifier and stop feeding her so often. Feed her every four hours. And wouldn't you know it, it did the trick. It led to that beautiful entry in my baby book um, about how lovely I was. <laughs> I was so not lovely. Um, but I began to think about the ways that women pass down wisdom um, and the ways that we love each other. Sometimes it's just like, no, don't do that. You need to do this. And sometimes it's much more gentle. Um, but the ways that women hold each other up, uh, especially in this whole motherhood thing, uh, that's, yeah, it's so amazing. Um, and I really, I began to think about the ways that my Aunt Dottie and my grandmother and um, my mom's cousins uh, and these women that have surrounded me my whole life have impacted me um, and the ways that I am. Um, and I wonder about the stories that my niece and her cousins will tell about us. Um, and then I wonder about the stories you tell about the women in your life um, and how they have um, helped you um, through moments of confusion or grief or hardship or joy, um, the ways that they have surrounded you. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, go ahead and email those to me and maybe we, we create a book um, uh, that, that tells the stories of the women in our lives. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, so I hope that this Mother's Day you have a chance to reflect um, and to celebrate the mothers and the aunts and in your life um, and to give thanks to God for them. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you. Um, we thank you for all relationships in our lives, but on this eve of Mother's Day, we thank you for 
the moms and the women who um, we call aunt or cousin or friend who have been mothers to us, um, who have shared wisdom and love and grace in our lives um, that have strengthened us and helped us live our own lives um, in meaningful ways. So we pray your blessing upon all uh, women this day. Um, we give you thanks for them. Be with all of us, dear God. Guard our hearts and our minds as we enter this day. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Happy Mother's Day, everybody.